insects are disappearing, and they're doing so at an alarming rate. According to one estimate, 40% of the 30 million or so insect species on Earth are now threatened with extinction. And the total mass of insects is falling by a staggering 2.5% a year. Bees, ants, and beetles are disappearing eight times faster than mammals, birds, or reptiles. In the United States, the population of monarch butterflies fell by 90% in the last 20 years. That's a loss of 900 million butterflies. The rusty-patched bumblebee also dropped by 87% over the same period. Insects outweigh humanity by 17 times. Insects also make up around 70% of all animal species, outweighing all the fish in the oceans and all the livestock munching grass on land. If insects are in such high numbers, why are they disappearing? Is it because of us, or is it because of some natural phenomenon? When you stop your car after a drive, you may be happier to find far fewer squished insects than there used to be. This realization is called the widescreen phenomenon, and while it may be great for your windshield, it hints at a serious ecological problem. While we've been worried about the bees for some time now, the problem is so much bigger than just bees. One study shows 40% of insect species have seen steep declines in the past decade, with similar drops forecasted for the near future. In fact, one-third of insect species are classified as endangered. Flying insects have declined by more than 75% over almost 30 years in Germany. Butterflies and moths are some of the hardest hit. 53% of these species have seen declining population numbers. This is especially concerning as butterflies, which are very sensitive to changes in landscape and food sources, are often a bellwether of environmental health. Some 50% of grasshopper and cricket species are also in decline. The number of honeybee colonies in the United States was 6 million in 1947, but 3.5 million colonies have been lost in the years since. In fact, 40% of bee species are listed as vulnerable for extinction, and most dung beetle species are vulnerable or endangered. This isn't a problem that's isolated to areas heavily populated by humans. Insect and other arthropod populations in the rainforests of Puerto Rico have declined 60-fold over the last four decades. Researchers found that on the ground, 98% of insects had gone. Up in the leafy canopy, 80% had vanished. This is dreadful because we know what happens when ecosystems lose insects. They lose other species as well. The most likely culprit by far is global warming. Species living in tropical climates are accustomed to a very specific type of weather condition, and even minor shifts can change internal biochemistry in ways that foster a slow doom for these species. Deforestation, agricultural expansion, and human sprawl are all major contributing factors. The wide use of pesticides and fertilizer, as well as industrial pollution, are taking massive tolls on the insect population. Parasites and pathogens, like the viruses that attack honeybees, are also making an impact. So, in summary, human activity is to blame. We are killing the insects. What would happen if all the insects disappeared? And what can be done to stop the global insect apocalypse? That's a topic for another episode.